Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Now, I don't usually talk about updates on my channel unless something really big happened. And, well, something pretty big just happened. First of all, it seems that Valve has added a new launch option, D3D9EX. Now, this command line is said to reduce CPU memory usage by about 40%. And personally, I got a small bump to FPS increase, and it makes alt-tabbing fast as hell. And who doesn't want to alt-tab faster? But seriously, it works really well for me, so I'd like you guys to try it out and let me know what your results are from it, because I think that there is absolutely no negatives to using this. And honestly, I like seeing that they're adding some launch options here and there. Back in the old Source days, we had a ridiculous string of launch options to help optimize our games. And yes, I know there's a huge negative to this, and I'll talk about it in a moment, but there is a massive positive to this too. Back in Counter-Strike Source, I didn't have the greatest PC, but because of my launch option, I was getting about a thousand FPS. That being said, some launch options would cause an unfair advantage to be borderline cheating. For an example, you could severely reduce flashbangs using a direct X7 launch option. This would also remove the burnout effect, and I think it also made it easier to see through smokes, though I'm not 100% sure on that part. It became such a problem that competitive leagues banned it and made it so that their clients would detect it and make it so you were unable to connect to their servers. So I can definitely understand why the majority of launch options from CS Source didn't make it over to CSGO. Though I'm not entirely sure why they decided to change up the no force parameters for mice. Basically, in the old days, you used to use no force M Parms, no force M SPD, and no force M Excel. But then CSGO got rid of no force M Parms and changed it with used force M Parms. And while before it seemed to get rid of all acceleration, now if you use it, you can clearly feel there is an acceleration there. All right, I'm just getting nostalgic and ranting now, so let's move on to the rest of the update. So the second most notable part of this is that they added a bunch of communication options. Okay, so it says you can mute the enemy team, block communications from everyone except players who you're friends with or players in your matchmaking party, hide avatar images, and changes the names of players not on your friends list to something neutral. So yeah, if you scroll down in game settings to the communication area, you can find Mute Enemy Team. In my opinion, this is a great one to turn on because it's not going to hinder you in any way because typically the other team isn't telling you anything that you actually need to know. Next down, you have Mute All But Friends. And honestly, I don't actually like this one because I like to hear what my teammates are saying because usually they'll make calls even if they're just making them sporadically while insulting me. But what can I say, I'm from the 90s and I'm not really bothered by insults. Next up, we have Hide Avatar Images. This comes with three different options, Show All, Hide All, or just Show Friend. In my opinion, this is a really good one to turn on, especially so you don't have to see any offensive material. Especially if you're a streamer or a YouTuber and it could cause you to get demonetized. And the last one here is Clean Player Names, and honestly, it's kind of a mixed bag of good and bad. So basically what this does is it changes every player's name to something random, like in Overwatch. What's good about this is it will make it so you won't have to worry about any offensive names, because you know a lot of people will make very, very offensive names. Names that might get a streamer into trouble or even get a YouTuber demonetized. But it's also confusing as all hell. Luckily, the colors are still there, so you can just be like, hey, blue, go over here, or hey, orange, go over there. I think it would have been nicer if it just censored the offensive names instead, but what it actually does is renames everyone, so if you actually try to call them by the names that it renames those players to, they're not going to know who the hell you're talking about. And it could get really weird if someone on your team is actually named what you just said, but it's a different person, the person you were talking to, who was randomly assigned that name. But I'm going to be honest, this is a pretty good update, and I think you guys all should at least try out the launch option. As for the communication settings, I'm not sure if I'll use them myself, but I can definitely see other friends of mine finding them very handy. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video and found it informative, and let me know what your guys' results are with the new launch option in the comments below. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time.